Andy, there you are. And where did you run off to, might I ask? <gasps> oh my, it's... it's really you, isn't it? You're alive, and you, you... you've come back to us. Oh, I've been so, so, so worried, especially after... Well, we heard such awful things. <laughs> oh, Sandy, you're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. And here I am, blubbering like a baby. Welcome home. It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No, we've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He, he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. <coughs> Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on, let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. Come on, girls, put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. Little soldier! Oi, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... <laughs> when the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. He fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion, humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? Look, I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. 
Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me, it's the one in the middle of the camp with the two flags. And be polite. So, you are alive and well, I see. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me. Do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever or whatever had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive. I see. Your Majesty, the hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come. You must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Luminary lips. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. 
he has sacrificed more than anyone, which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. be our newest recruit. They say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam. Well, I'm impressed, I've got to tell you. But you can obviously handle yourself. There, or you were born lucky. Well, either way, I'm sure we can find a use for you. Follow me. Right, here's your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. <laughs> oh, don't look so worried. You'll be fine. Forces! Here they come!
down your guard. Pull your weight if we are to escape this one. Have at them! Sentinels speak truly when speak of thee, Hendrik. Thou art without a shred of guile. Any other would have fled the field long ago. But I have no complaints. Our reward for tearing thee limb from limb shall be a handsome one indeed! <laughs> well, fools! Wherefore gapest ye like ninnies? Commander, a message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Both of you.
Right away. It seems we owe you both a debt of gratitude. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time, time to bring light back to this benighted land. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor Castle must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, must lead the charge. But, sire... I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city's sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hill atop which Heliodor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. This key will unlock the gate. But sire, who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered. We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out, leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. We strike now, or we never see the light of day again. Please, your majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely. Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. Hmm. Or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault. And I order you to do likewise. Sire. You are our last hope. Do not let us down. <laughs>